first opened for business in 1962. We are just about ready for baseball from Dodger Stadium in Los Angeles. Tonight, we've got a good matchup in store between the Philadelphia Phillies and the Los Angeles Dodgers. It's baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Tommy John, a lefty from Indiana, is on the mound here. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, man, we're going to get a chance to look at a good veteran pitcher here. This guy's been around the block a few times, but one of the things he does, he still competes at a high level, and he's never stopped trying to learn how to be a good pitcher. Striding in is number 10. He'll get us started in this one under the Leading lights. tonight for Philadelphia, the shortstop, number 10. First pitch on its way. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0-1. First pitch, 7 o'clock. The pitch. One and one. Good night for baseball. 69 degrees here at first pitch. Ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Tries to change up on him there, but it's a ball. 2-1. On a good pitch there, had him stretching to get out there, and it's two and two now. And I really don't know how you swing at that. He must have had his mind up he was going to swing as soon as the ball came out of the pitcher's hand. Takes this the other way to right, and a base hit, so early trouble to lead off the inning. Not it. In now, Gary Maddox. He swings and grounds it to short. He's got it. There's one. On to first, but not in time as he beats it out. It's really tough to double up a guy with the speed that he has, and he was hustling all the way on this ground ball. So they should be happy they at least got the guy out at second. It'll be interesting now to see if he tries to use that speed again and swipe a bag and get into scoring position. Now at the plate, here is Greg Luzinski. First pitch of the A-B on its way. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. Now a long throw to third. And they'll have runners at the corners following the one-out single. Dan, are you kidding me right there? I mean, that had to whistle past this guy's ear. That was a scary moment. <laughs> Dero, they call that the old chuck and duck, right? That was really close, and that's one of the things that most pitchers fear, that line drive that zips right by your head. Wow, that was awful close. At the plate, Mike Schmidt. And he puts it on the ground to second. To second for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Like clockwork, a 4-6-3 to six to three double play to end the threat. More ahead from Dodger Stadium right after this. Jim Cott, a Michigan-born lefty, gets the starting job here. What's your take on him, Dan? It's not an easy thing to do to pitch as a rookie, but one of the things you have to do is use the positives. The opposing team has never faced you. You can't be afraid to throw the ball into the strike zone. Establish your pitches and try to work quickly. So now here is Dave Lopes. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Now the pitch. All one. Into his windup. Here comes the 1 0. And they won't get him to chase the curveball in the dirt that time, and it's 2 0 now. Not even close with the 1 0. He needs to get back in the zone, but be careful. Work the quadrants. 2 and 1 after the foul ball there.
started to go around, but he's able to check his swing for ball three. Having a little trouble finding the zone to start the night. It's always deflating to walk the leadoff guy in the game, so we'll see if he can initiate some contact here. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. So the Dodgers get their leadoff hitter on base to kick off the inning. That's the battle, Matty. Working yourself into a 3-1 count. Having count leverage and getting ahead to a fastball. You don't get too many opportunities throughout the course of a game to have full count leverage, and he took advantage. Stepping in now, Bill Russell. Pitch misses low. The throw down is going to be far too late. That's a stolen base. Lopes stands at second with no outs. Runs outside, so it goes to 2-0 now. And there are the umpires assigned to this one. Calling balls and strikes is Mr. Carl Dixon. Hey, d -Row, one of the things you have to be aware of as a hitter from Carl Dixon, he'll call that high strike. Yeah, he will. So you better be on top of your game with two strikes, because if they elevate, good chance Carl Dixon's punching your ticket. The 2-1. Here's a little chopper up the middle. Reined in. Throw to first is in time for the first down. Now a moment for the Los Angeles Dodgers starting lineup. What's the key for them tonight, D-Rome? Matty, this is going to be a fun lineup for me to watch. I get fired up watching these guys because they all have a plan. It works for them. They follow the scouting reports. They grind it out in a video room. I'm interested to see what they've come up with. First trip to the plate for him in this one, and it's a good RBI spot, too. Leadoff man at third with one down. Now about a 58-foot breaking pitch that he wisely lays off here. And a slur, but this is in the dirt for a ball. The 2-1 home is swung on and missed for strike number two. A little late with the swing, but he stays alive. Still two and two. One out and a runner on third. To short. Right to him. Only play is going to be at first, so that'll go as an RBI that brings home the opening marker of the ball game. That's good hitting right there. Put the ball in play and let the guy trot home from third to put your team on the board. Good baseball. Next, it'll be Ron Say. He'll try and start things over now with the bases empty and two away following the RBI ground ball. Fastball well outside. Waved at and missed as he took something off there. One and one. Now here's the pitch. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off-speed pitch. Ball two. Bases are empty here with two men out. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. The 2-2. Two -two. Again, he sends it out of play. This is skied out toward right. Number one. Able to track it down for the third out. So one run on one hit, no errors, and no one left. On to the second now at Dodger Stadium. It's the Dodgers one, and the Phillies nothing. And now in the box, number one. He readies for his first plate appearance. The right field. Number one. Now here it comes. 
first pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. Oh, one pitch on its way. Here's a looping fly ball out to right. Lopes stay with it as he backs up and puts it away. One gone. Hey, let's take a look at the Dodgers on defense. And when you talk about third base, you talk about a step and a dive. But you better have something to go with it when you get to your knees. And that's what this guy has, an absolute howitzer. To the plate now, Ted Sizemore. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Lying toward the alley in left center. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. That's the game plan right there. Elevate the sinker from the offensive standpoint. That's what they talked about in the hitters meeting. And on the flip side, if the pitcher doesn't get that pitch down, there's going to be a call to the pen short. Into the box now, number 11. As he'll take a look at ball one. John has both great strikeout stuff and exceptional command on the mound to go with it. A rare combination, but one that makes him one of the best in our sport. Matty V, you talked about it. He doesn't walk a whole lot of guys. Well, if you don't walk a lot of guys, that means you have to throw the ball in the strike zone. And when you do with great stuff like this guy has, he racks up the strikeouts. There aren't a lot of guys that get strikeouts by throwing the ball in the strike zone. This is one of the few that does it. Down the first baseline. Fielded cleanly. One there on the first. And that's two innings and two double plays they've hit into so far as the inning is over. One hits all they get. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. Dodgers out in front. One to nothing. Last half of the second set to go. And coming forward, the rookie outfielder, Dusty Baker. Now the first pitch. The 1-1 one, one home. Pitch is popped up. And this is going to be a foul ball. That's Hard cold. sinker misses two and two. Wow, that was a close pitch on one and two. The count's now on two and two, but boy, that one very easily could have been called strike three. Really close pitch. And that misses, so it's a full count, three and two. Well, the one-two pitch didn't go his way, and now a miss there on two and two. You know he doesn't want this at bat to get away from him, so I think we're going to see a challenge pitch on a full count. Swing and a miss as he couldn't connect on the two-seamer, and that's out number one. Leading off the inning, your job is to get on base and set the table that for the inning. Six. That was a pretty no good at bat in that he pushed the count to three and two and made the pitcher work, but I think he'd like to have that three-two pitch back. Pretty sure that was ball four he went after. So now to the plate, number 37. As he'll watch one miss down and in for a ball, one and oh. And that's right there, and we're even at one. Hey, I don't blame him for giving up on that curveball. That was a rainbow coming out of the sky. Stole a strike. Back up the middle. He's got it. And that's the second out. 
Now it'll be Steve Yeager. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Dodgers have the early 1-0 advantage as we play the second. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And it's a foul ball. His heart sank right there when that ball met the bat, but just had him out front just enough to give him another shot at potentially putting him away. Two and two to the Dodgers catcher. I know he missed with a fastball right there, but this guy's arsenal. You can't figure out what he's trying to do. He's got a lot of different directions he could go in right here. Two out, nobody on. Hit to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Clearly enjoying their time here at the ballpark, as are we. We'll come right back with more from Dodger Stadium in just a moment. Digging in now for Philadelphia, number 18. And he's ready to take his first, first cuts. Eight. Number 18. Here's the pitch. Lifted into center field. Number 16 is right there, and it's a very quick out number one. Stepping in next, Jim Cobb. First pitch of the A-B on its way. And that's waved at and missed for strike one. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. The 0-1 pitch. Swing and a line drive. But this will not get out there deep enough as it's run down by the right fielder in the alley for the second out. Next to stand in is number 10. He singled in his first A.B. Now the pitch. Swing and a shot toward right center. He leaps, but he can't get it. It's down for extra bases. Around second. He's on his way to third. And he is in to third with a two-out triple. Here's another look at it right here as he drives it right between the two outfielders heading towards the right center field wall. He was flying out of the box, so I think he was thinking triple all the way. By the time they get it back in, he's safely into third. Into the box, Gary Maddox. And he puts it on the ground to second. Scooped up. And they'll escape danger here after the two-out triple as the inning is over. No damage done after the two-out triple. More ahead from Dodger Stadium right after this. Into the box, number 16. This will be his first trip to the plate in this one. The center fielder, number 16. Now here it comes. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. He's in complete command of his two-seamer right now. It's got great movement, great depth, running all over the place. This offense is going to have a tough time. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. Hey, that's just a great mix of pitches right there, and that's what this guy's going to do if he's going to keep this team off balance. Another 0-2 home. High 
high in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. The next 0-2 is taken. That's ball one. Hey, the fish ain't biting there on that 0-2 breaking ball, but you got to be careful because this pitcher might throw him another one. Ready on one and two. Still a ball and two strikes. In the dirt, but swung on and missed. He'll throw down to first, one away. Now to the plate, Tommy John. First delivery to him. Bases are empty, one man out. In there, and it's even at one. It's been more than two innings since this guy's allowed anyone to reach base. He looks pretty unbeatable on the bump right now. A little behind on that swing, and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one, two. Soft liner towards short. And an easy play out there as this is taken for the second out. The batter number 15. Second baseman, Dave Lopes. So next to hit is Dave Lopes. Singled in his last at bat. Yeah, guys. Still the only hit in this game so far. They've been pretty well shut down. Guys on the mound have really much controlled the whole outcome up until this point got to be careful with this guy here he can really handle the bat even though they're two outs he might try to drop one down for a base hit one and one to the Dodgers leadoff man a little bit outside two and one Here's the pitch. Fastball well outside. The 3 1. Ani bailed him out with a swing, 3 and 2 now. Offered at that breaking ball below the zone, and that's a tough one to spit on. But the key is recognizing it coming out of the pitcher's hand earlier and making sure that it goes up before it comes down. More likely to be a hanger when that's the case. Skied down the left field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. Swing and a miss got him reaching. Number 11 corrals it, and the throw to first ends the inning. Dodgers down in order, but they hold a 1-0 lead. New inning set to get underway, and digging in is the outfielder, Greg Luzinski. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Liner towards second. And a base hit. So he goes after the first pitch he sees, and he's on to open up the inning. Hey, guys, this, he's not known for being a singles hitter right here, but that's his second knock in the game. And I'm sure he'll take him, but the guys on the other side of the scorecard might be thinking we really avoided a worse fate. Plate now, Mike Schmidt, lined hard to center field. Into a slide, and he makes a great catch for the first down. Now back, no 
over one. Stepping in once again is number one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. First offering. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Left fielder giving chase. He gets there, and that's the second out. The batter number six, second baseman. Size more. So the next to bat will be Ted Sizemore. He singled first time up. He's set and the pitch. And here's a ball in the air now carrying a bit out toward right center. Number 37 is there, and they go down in a hurry here as his side is quickly retired. Phillies down on just four pitches. They trail this one, one to nothing. Welcome back to Dodger Stadium. Let's send it down to the field in Heidi Watney. Matt, during the break, I caught up with Dave Roberts, the Dodgers skipper, about his lineup's performance so far, and flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. Yes, they've only scored one run, but he said they've done a great job of forcing the pitch count up, and he thinks that's going to lead to more offense for them as this game goes on. All right, thanks, Heidi. Russell. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth, and stepping in is the veteran shortstop, Bill Russell. Here's the first pitch. That's a tough pitch right there. Curveball kind of front hip. Your first move is to bail a little bit and kind of not want to get hit by that pitch. I can totally understand him taking that first strike. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide of first. Another one sent foul. Here comes another 0 2. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. So after getting the strikeout on the fastball, the not a bad time six. to check out our pitch speed Steve. comparison for our two starters. Oh, and neither of these guys are what you'd call flamethrowers, but still a respectable 93 and 90 as their two top speeds. So now into the box is Steve Garvey. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Here's the first pitch to him. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. No Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. Man, as a pitcher, you have to love pitching 0-2. Multiple ways, up, down, in and out, throw the breaking ball. A lot of different ways to get guys out. And this is a strike three called. Oh, caught a break there. Two away. Two up, two down on strikes in this inning. Now he looks batting. really Third sharp out there, guys. Run. Save. Standing in now, Ron Say as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. Trying to avoid becoming the third strikeout victim of the inning here. The 1-0 home is laid off for ball two. Hey, always a good idea to take a couple of pitches when you're facing a young arm like this one. And now he's put himself in a real good hitter's count. Now the 
is swung on and missed, strike one. Man, this has been a game filled of a lot of swings and misses. Not very many confident swings, and this team up there, they'd swing at a butterfly right now if it flew in front of the plate. Lots of swing. High in the air and deep to straightaway left. At the wall, he leaps and makes a spectacular catch. And with it, that'll end the inning. Definitely worth another look as he scales the wall to take away a home run. We'll come right back with more from Dodger Stadium in just a moment. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Matt, I had a chance to catch up with manager Joe Girardi during the commercial break about the Phillies offense, and he was very pleased with how little they're swinging and missing right now. They're currently averaging more than a hit per inning, while at the same time, they've yet to strike out a single time. We all know that's a rarity these days, but clearly the bat-on-ball approach is working for them. All right, Heidi, thank you. And now, number 11 comes into this at-bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Number 11. first delivery to him as he lifts it in the air to right field number 37 has it and it's a quick out number one now back. number 18 digging in will be number 18 flied out in his first at bat so make him 0 for 1 so far now here it comes No runs, five hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. Hit out towards second. He's right there. And there are two away now. Up next, Jim Cott. And now the first pitch. Good pitch there. Had him a little out in front. All bets are off for the offense right now. This guy's got a low pitch count. He's attacking his zone. They have to get more aggressive. This guy's not going anywhere. The 0-1. Swing and a miss, and he's in the hole 0-2 now. Man, he's in control of all his weapons right here. One strike away from five shutout innings. Back up the middle. And the pitcher's got himself a base hit. It's like magic or something. He's given up a boatload of hits, but they haven't been able to chase a runner home. And that's just another base hit in a long line of many. Seems like he's been pitching from the stretch the entire game, but somehow he's still got a shutout going. We'll see how long he can make this last. At the plate, number 10, a bouncer up the middle, reined in, and he'll go the short way to retire the side. One left for Philadelphia. They're down 1-0. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and that'll bring forth the rookie outfielder, Dusty Baker. First pitch on its way. Aye. Oh, and one, here it comes. Well out in front of the breaking ball there for a strike. Hit back up the middle. And a dive, but it just tips off his glove as it's by him for a base hit. Nice effort by the shortstop right there. Kept it in front of him. That's, a, that's all he could do right there, Dan. You know, deal on a spot like that, that's an infield single. That's a tough play. Just to knock that ball down was a pretty good job. But any way you look at it, that should be scored a base hit, and I'm sure it was. To the plate now, nope. number 37. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Right. 
Runner goes for second. Off for that and missed. Here's the throw. It bounces, but he's out. A nice play there to pick the throw and put the tag on quickly. Very well could have been a hit-and-run attempt there. But you kind of have to make contact for those to work out. He didn't, and his teammate was hung out to dry at second. One run, two hits. No errors for the Dodgers thus far. Flipped out the other way towards short. And that'll be the second out. So stepping in is Steve Yeager. Grounded out in his last at-bat. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Wind up and the 0-1. Hit hard on the ground to second. And that's through for a base hit. Make him one for two in this one. And they keep the inning alive with a base hit. But you can see that's only the third hit. He's given up the entire game. So he's still in total control out there. In now, number 16. Check swing and a pop-up now to the left side. Schmidt has got it, and the side is retired. Dodgers leave one. They lead it one to nothing. Leading off the inning, it'll be Gary Maddox as they'll look to spark the offense and even things up. Now the first pitch. Hey, the guy on the mound is absolutely pounding his zone, and that's why he's been able to stay and pitch deep into this game. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Waved at and missed, and he's behind 0-2. He hasn't thrown that pitch much all game. I got to believe as an offense, you just got to throw that pitch away and move on to the next one. Swing and a miss there as the breaking ball takes care of him for the first out. He's been in total control out there tonight. Gets the leadoff guy with a strike out there, and it just seems like we've seen so many off-balance swings and weekly hit balls in this one. now Greg Luzinski as he drives a liner to right center and another base hit for him now three for three in this one boy so frustrating as a pitcher you make a quality pitch on the inside half of the plate right there try to bust him in Dero and he fights it off the other way yeah you tip your hat to the pitcher right there he executed his pitch but nice job by the offensive player fighting it doesn't matter what it looks like a knocks a knock into the box, Mike Schmidt, as he rips it on the ground to second. That's through, and he's got his first base hit. He's one for three. Long throw to third, and he's safe. This is their time right here. This starting pitcher has been on point all day. Runs have been at a premium. They have an opportunity to do something special right here. Standing in now, number one. And he'll promptly send it in the air out to center field. Lopes ranges back and he has it for out number two. The batter number two. Second base. Ted Sizemore. So here is Ted Sizemore. A potential tying run for him at third base. Trying to hold the lead, here's the delivery. And he puts it on the ground to second. A dive and he knocks it down. And a good effort here, but he's well safe at first and there are two on and two out now. The battle, number 11. And now time will be called here as you see the pitching coach making his way out to the mound to pay a quick visit.
stepping in now, number 11, as it's on the ground toward the hole. Throw to first in time, and the big inning is avoided as the side is retired. So it's a run on three hits, no errors, and two men left on. 9-1-2 and two scheduled to hit in the home half of the sixth, all tied at 1-1. One and one. Now to bat, Tommy John. And the pitch. Really feels like he's just on cruise control out there on the mound right now. Boy, this is a tight one. You kind of get the feeling like the next team that scores is going to win this one. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. And a diving effort, but it's out of his reach. A foul ball. And not much of an effort there as he'll look at strike three called. And on three pitches, he's your first out of the inning. Well, pitching domination no continues. Just a total of two Second runs on the board. Man. So both of these starters should feel really good about their showings. If you love good pitching, this has been the game for you. At the plate, Dave Lopes. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. The wind up and the 0 1. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Maddox is there now, and he has it. Two gone. Stepping up is Bill Russell. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. And now the first pitch. As he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. Softly hit to short. He's got it. Throw in time and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Dodgers. Score remains deadlocked at one. Leading off for Philadelphia, the first baseman, number 18. And the pitch. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Ground ball right side. Scooped up. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Bob Ooh. Boone will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Now here's the first offering. A 
as he grounds one briskly to short. He's right there on to first, and it's a quick start to the seventh as now there are two away. Now batting, number 10. So the Phillies batting order turns over and set to go. Number 10, two for three for him so far, including a triple. First delivery to him. This is on the ground over to first. Reined in. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Phillies down on just four pitches. Still tied one apiece. Ron Reed will take over on the mound to start the bottom of the seventh. Last half of the seventh here and set to go is the rookie first baseman Steve Garvey. The pitch. Great job of changing speeds there. It's 0-2. Classic case of the front shoulder flying open on that off speed. Needs to stay compact and stay in the big part of the field. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. One ball, two strikes. Great job right there. Scrambling a nasty breaking ball off the plate. Here's the one and two delivery. The stand alive putting together a really good at bat here. Another one two delivery. And he connects with it. This one's hit deep out to left center field. And as Dodger fans have heard for years, she is out of here. So a solo shot here to left center field. And the Dodgers move out in front. It's 2-1. to one. Yeah, and it looks like at least one player is having a night to remember. He drove in their only run earlier in the game and continues the hot hand with a deep one into the night sky. At the plate now, Ron Say. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Wind up and the 0 1. Maybe a little jumpy there as he swings through the fastball. Now a slider well off the plate, an easy take there. It's a great job to lay off on that nasty slider right there. It's the toughest pitch. It was my toughest pitch to lay off of. I was always sitting fastball middle away, and when that slider came out, boy, did it look like a heater for a long time. Fouled off. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at 2-2. Two and two. 
Man, this guy's a grinder. Fouls off good pitches and doesn't seem to swing at the ones just off the corner. This guy's a pitcher's nightmare. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. Boy, there's nothing like seeing a good power pitcher that has a good fastball. And what does he do? He just throws this good fastball right by. Brings the express. No chance to put that ball in play. So now to the plate, Dusty Baker. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. A hit and two tries for him so far. Behind 0-2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Count remains at 0-2. One app, nobody on. Did well just to make contact there as he spoils off a good changeup. When a pitcher puts you in the proverbial rocking chair like he's doing right now, you have to take a deep breath. You can't start trying to guess along with him. Trust your fundamentals and stay on that fastball. Another 0-2 coming. Swing and a miss at the curveball, and there's your second out of the inning. This tells me a lot about this guy. He's done a real nice job bouncing back from that home yeah, run yeah. to strike out Number the next two guys. Sometimes you're going to get taken deep, but it's all about how you respond that really matters. Into the box, number 37. High and deep to right. A ball that's carrying. And he makes a nice catch on the track as that ends the inning. But the Dodgers add on courtesy of this. Enters the ball game to replace the starter, and some may feel he was pulled a bit prematurely. Yeah, and I'm sure the lefty wants to stay out there, too. But this is one of those situations where the manager felt it was time to start playing the matchup game. With the right-handed batter up next, they're hoping this right-handed pitcher gives them a better chance to get an out. Third baseman hugging the line here. Now the first pitch. As he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. The 1-0 home. The bouncer to the left side. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Next up is Greg Lozinski. He's working on a three-hit ball game right now. Outfield in the no-doubles defense. Now the first pitch. Pitcher's duel continues here. Two to one score as we play the eighth. Hit sharply on the ground. And a base hit into left field. So they've got themselves a one out base runner. Hey, Dan, obviously good game plan by the offensive team. A bunch of knocks, but they can't seem to get any runs going. Boy, I'd say as a pitcher, Dero, you're always trying to minimize the damage. Lots of traffic, but so far, very little to show for. You wonder how much longer he can keep this up. to the plate now Mike Schmidt as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one he's working on a one for three thus far oh, on the ground 
to short. Could this be two? To second for one. On the first, it's a double play. As their woes continue, the inning is over. Phillies go down quietly there. They're down 2-1. Now to the plate, here is Steve Yeager. He's singled in two trips to the plate thus far. First pitch of the A-B now. As he'll take a look at the pitch too low, it's ball one. Two and oh. Late swing on the hitter's count. Still a good count for him now, however, at two and one. Into the windup and the pitch. Ball, ball three. Well, that's ball three. The Dodgers right now would love to start this inning off with a walk anyway to get this leadoff guy on. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. And he fouls this one off. Fouled away. The next 3 2. Oh, and he lets him off the hook there as this isn't even close for ball four. That leadoff walk is a great way to start this inning when you're looking to pad the lead. Could be the beginning of good things here in this half inning. Digging in next, number 16. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. Gene Gerber is on to pitch here in the eighth with nobody out. First pitch coming, here it is. Now a ball lined hard toward right center. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. Jaeger rounds the corner and is headed home. And he's safe at the plate. And they now lead by two. Boy, that's a big RBI right there to give his team a two-run cushion going into the late innings. And it always makes it easier on the opposing pitcher to know they have a two-run lead. Yeah, Leo Mazzoni always used to say, old pitching coach for the Atlanta Braves, solos won't kill us, guys. And he's absolutely right. You give yourself a two-run lead, a solo homer is not going not gonna to do too much damage. And it's fouled away. Trying to add some padding to their lead in the form of that run standing out there at second base. Here's the 0-1 pitch. Now a 58-foot curveball that misses for a ball. A runner at second, nobody out lifted the other way to left center. Luzinski will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. And the runner, not tagging, will retreat to second base. The batter number 15, second baseman, Dave Lopes. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Dave Lopes flew out last time up. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. And a reach, but it's by him as he couldn't quite get to that ball. And tack on one more, make it a four to one lead. Hey, Dero, that's a big RBI right there to stretch this lead to three. Takes a lot of pressure off your pitcher going into the bottom part of the inning. Yeah, Dan, no doubt. As an offense, all you're trying to do is put your pitchers in positions to be successful. Giving them that three-run cushion has to make you feel good. Standing in now, Bill Russell. Strike called, now the throw down. 
And no throw, in fact, as he'll just hang on to it. Lopes leads off second with one gone in the inning. Swing and a miss as he pulls the top hand over. It's 0-2. They obviously had a pretty good gauge on that first heater right there. He was super aggressive, thought he was getting another one. Slowed him down with the curveball. That's the cat and mouse. The 1-2. Breaking ball, and he gets him to chase it in the dirt. He makes the throw to first. Two down. Good number pitch there. That was a nice six. job by his battery mate Steve. to complete the plate first Darby. after the ball hit the dirt. At the plate, Steve Garvey. And he's a bit tardy there on the first pitch fastball. It's nothing in one. A couple of RBIs for him already and a chance for more here. Curve ball bounces, and this one gets away. And he's going to make it up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch. Well, some would say no harm done with that wild pitch, right? But I disagree. The runner's now 90 feet away from scoring an infield single, a booted ball, and he crosses the plate. That might not be the case if he were still on second. Two outs here with a runner at third. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. And good take that time on a low breaking ball. Two and two now. Pretty good breaking ball to lay off of right there. If I'm pitching, I might think this guy might be sitting on something off speed. Working for the punch out and the offering. Strike three called as he can't get the bat off his shoulders. Side retired. So it's two runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. We've played eight full. It's the Dodgers four and the Phillies one. Ken Brett takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. So striding in to start the ninth is number one, and they could use a spark from him here. They look like they're up against it here, down three on the road, trying to come back against the closer. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. Lopes is there, looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Every pitcher loves to get quick outs, right? How about that? One pitch, one out, a pop-up to start the inning. So next to the plate for the Phils, Ted Sizemore is looking for hit number three here in this at-bat. First offering. Right through it here, and he's behind 0-1. He's having a great day at the dish. His timing is spot on. This pitching staff's going to have to find a different way of attacking him. Lifted in the air out to center field. Number 16 is there, and he makes the catch for the out. Now back, number 11. Next to dig in, number 11. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Pretty well hit. Deep down the line in right, but that's back into the seats. Foul. The wind up and the 0-1. Good pitch as this is swung on and missed. And now they're down to perhaps their final strike of the evening. A crowd of over 39,000 on their feet. Fouled off. Philly down to their last strike. This is on the ground over to first. Step on first for the out, and the ball game is over. Hey, it always feels good to win a baseball game, but when you can win one at home in front of your home crowd, all those fans cheering, this is a good win for this team. A 4-1 to one finish in this evening's game. Los Angeles jumped ahead in the seventh inning and never gave the lead back. 
Tommy John is credited with the win. So that will wrap things up for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our whole crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, head to theshow.com.